Hello there, welcome back. Uh, I know I posted on Facebook about a six meter dipole that I put together. And uh, this year it's uh, been a beautifully nice and warm summer here in Northwest Ohio. And so we've spent a lot of time out on the deck and unfortunately our old umbrella like this, an eight foot umbrella, it didn't make it through the winter. Uh, it was torn and, and some of the, uh, the beams, those beams up there were broke off. And so my wife and I bought a new one and she said, oh, just get rid of the other one. We'll recycle it. And I thought, hmm, recycle it. Those are metal. So why not build an antenna out of it? Come. All right. So like I said, it is summertime. And so we got the new umbrella but also in summer is when six meters starts to open up a little bit. So I wanted to have that six meter antenna to take to the parks with me. So my criteria was just resonant on six meters because uh, as I've said many times, I don't own a tuner. Uh, so I wanted resonant on six meters and I wanted it to be able to fit in my Jeep. And so I took apart the uh, umbrella and began to assemble things and let me show you what i got so i started off with the uh, long arms from the umbrella i uh, did the math i uh, did the 468 divided by the frequency i wanted it at and when i worked it all out this whole thing needed to be like almost 10 feet long well it's an eight foot umbrella so i just went ahead and uh what i did was i drilled an extra hole right here and I took my Dremel and sanded off a good connecting point there. And I went ahead and ran out both sides, attached them and to this uh, scrap piece of plywood, uh, put an SO239 uh, fitting on it, uh, ran the back right out of the hole there and brought it over to hook it in. And then I just put it up and put the VNA on it to hope that I would be down at the bottom part of six meters. I wanted to be in the lower portion of the band. And so to my joy, it was actually too long. So I began using a hacksaw and cutting down the end and I would cut it down and retest it, cut it down, retest it, cut it down, retest it. And I finally got it down to where I wanted it. So each leg ended up being 46 and a quarter inches exactly, each side, 46 and a quarter inches. And I got it so that it was dead. It was bottom out on resonant lowest SWR right at 50.3. And so uh, that was right where I wanted it. But then I needed to figure out how to transport. I couldn't leave it like that because that's an awful long so um first thing i did was as you can see i made sure that these uh when i built it i drilled extra holes here so i take the nut off and i can drop the bolt down and then these arms fold down and so i can fold both arms down and they come together and i can just stick that in the back of the jeep so it makes it really easy to transport it that way but I still had the problem with how to get it up. Uh, I was using the painter's pole to test it on the VNA, and honestly, I was just zip tying it to the uh, to the painter's pole. But that wasn't going to work to put it in the back of the Jeep, so I had to come up with something different. So what I found, well, what happened is my painter's pole here. Don't mind the grandkid sandbox. Um, my painter's pole, I actually had it snap off. Oh quite a few activations ago and of course like I said we don't like to throw things out so I had the other end just sitting around and I thought well why not use the other end and get it attached to this uh to the plywood and then I could just drop this top part above you know on the top of the painter's pole all right so there I have it all the way up uh and running that down into my Nano VNA, you'll see that it is bottomed out. I've got a 1.02 to one 
SWR at 51.36. But uh, the beauty of it is no matter where I am, because of those legs being so thick, no matter where I am, I am resonant all throughout the entire six meter band. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but my my resistance is 50.8 ohms right there. So I tell you what, it does not move when I am transmitting down here at 50.3, 51.3. So we see the SWR, you know the length, you know what I use to make it, but what does it look like when you actually get it on the bands? Uh, how does my radio like it? Well, let me throw in a clip here and you can hear me calling CQ for parks on the air and you can see the SWR meter on it. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo Echo 8, Oscar November, India calling CQ for parks on the air. So that's it. I hope you learned a little something. Maybe make one yourself. Uh, like I said, this literally cost me the price of that uh, SO239 connector. All the rest was spare wire, spare wood. It was the painter's pole that I already had and an umbrella that we were throwing out because we got a new one. So go out there, make something yourself. And uh, until later, this is K8ONI and 73.